I'm Nancy Hewitt. I teach history at Rutgers University, and I'm the co-author of Exploring American Histories. I'm Stephen Lawson. I'm co-author of Exploring American Histories. The book integrates narrative into a larger whole that included documents. An annotated document appears in each chapter. Some are visual, some are textual. They have red lines to particular phrases or images within the document. And then at the bottom of the annotated document, there's a put it in context question where they're asked to think about how this document fits into the overall narrative of the chapter. A document project is a really important part of engaging students in the act of doing history rather than just passively listening to a historian lecture at them. So for a good document project, you want five or six documents that come at a topic or an issue from a variety of perspectives. One of the first ones I developed was on Eliza Lucas, a 17-year-old in the 18th century who runs her family's plantation in South Carolina. She decides she's going to start cultivating indigo, which had not been grown in South Carolina at all. So I put together a project with Eliza Lucas letters from her letter book and then some descriptions from travelers' reports, some sketches that were made of slaves actually producing the indigo, along with a doctor who reported on the noxious fumes that drying indigo creates and that caused many slaves to sicken and have to be taken out of the indigo project for a while. People like Eliza Lucas were heroines among early women's historians and among many women students who saw her as this very creative, innovative, venturesome young woman. But of course, she's also a slave owner. And so my students would have to decide, were they going to interpret these documents in a way that highlighted the heroics of Eliza Lucas, or were they going to emphasize her role as a slave owner in which she profited immensely from the labor of others? The documents on the 1950s deal with teenagers. One of the highlights of this project is just a photograph of a young woman, a teenager, trying to attend Little Rock, Arkansas High School. This photo tells you an enormous amount about teenagers and the willingness of teenagers to stand up. This is not a teenager writing defending Elvis Presley. This is a teenager risking her life to carry out the principles of the American Constitution. I would feel fabulous if in using this book, students really started to understand that historians aren't just providing you a list of known facts and putting them together into a narrative, but they're actually interpreting the way people thought about religion, about reform, about race, about civil rights, about war. And if students come out excited about analyzing documents, then they can take that critical skill into everything they do in life and any career they pursue.